this album was created to capture the feel of dance music. Instruments and recording techniques used in the late 70s and early 80s. Using live musicians and instruments combined with all the character of the sound of analog sequencers. Remixed and mastered for DCC. This is Iconic Groove. Hi and welcome back at the museum. Today we're very excited to share with you the new 2020 release that we've been working on for the past 12 months. It's Ben Libran's Iconic Groove. It's for the very first time that Sony was able to contribute one of their artists on a digital compact cassette. It has never, as far as we know, happened before. It's also unique that because of the mix down that Ben was able to create the very first 48 kilohertz 24 bit on digital compact cassette. The making of this DCC was very long in the making. You could almost say almost four decades. In 1983, a buddy of mine, Frank, let me know that there was a radio show on the air from two to three in the morning called In The Mix. That radio show was revolutionary as it had influenced an entire generation. Famous DJs like DJ Tiesto and Armin von Buren were later quoted that the start of their career was heavily influenced by Ben Lebron's mixing. After 1985, when the radio show stopped, he moved forward by mixing for almost every famous artist on the planet. He also did the annual Grand Mixes and he released 17 different albums called Grand 12 Inches, where he would remix existing 12 inches, which sort of became the love of his life. In 2008, Ben moved with his family to Canada and around that same time we moved to Los Angeles. At that point, we had never met. It wasn't until three years ago when I came up with the idea that for my 50th birthday party, it would be great to actually host a Studio 54 themed party and how cool it would be if Ben Liebrand would be the DJ. On one of our walks in Redondo Beach, I asked my wife what she would thought of the idea of actually asking him to spin at that party. And then she looked at me, sweared, which she never does, and said, I've been planning this with Ben Lebron for the past three months. He was already booked for that evening. That evening was a great success. And in the preparation of that evening, uh, I got to talk with Ben about digital compact cassette, mini disc and other formats. And he really never really got into different formats. After the party where he met several people of the DCC Museum, he understood that we all are audio nerds and we showed him that he actually did release on digital compact cassette the salt and pepper and also artwork on another album. That sort of intrigued him and we stayed in contact. We visited him in Canada on one of his uh, famous disco themed party he hosts in Calgary. And in 2019 we invited him for the premiere of the documentary DCC There is Still Music Left to Write. Unfortunately, he had other obligations in Canada, so he couldn't make it. But at the very last minute, the week after, he was added to the Park City Live Festival in Halen, which is my hometown. I was in the Netherlands, only 10 miles away. So I contacted him and we met backstage and he complimented us on the big uh, news and media efforts we had gotten on uh, that release of the documentary. And at that moment, I asked him how he would feel if we could release his music on digital compact cassette. His answer was, the thought has crossed my mind. We've been working on it ever since. He spent a lot of time. He said he stopped counting at 100 hours on six new mixes that have never been heard before on the DCC. And he also created 13 video tracks that we will include on a very limited release media box. We're gonna show you the results of our year's work. As we are entering this year's Media Packaging Award with the DCC Media Box, we collaborated on producing a video with Ben Liebrand as he is the man of many trades. Special thanks to Rob Rutering, aka Mixfreak, for providing both the intro animations for this video, but also for this Packaging Award video. The video box was Ben's pet project. 
He saw our video screen packaging for the Blu-ray of the documentary and asked if we would be willing to do this for him as well. Jeremy Hyden created the concept for the box and Ben did all the artwork. Based on this video, we will walk you through the possibilities of the media box and DCC. Come on! The media box is 5.5 x 5.5 x 3.5 inches and was produced in collaboration with MediaFest. When you open the lid, the 5 inch video screen starts playing the first video. All 13 clips will play after each other. The internal battery is good for up to 2 hours continuous playback. The videos show Ben at work via screen captures, making off videos and the use of the sweet vocoder. That was also used for creating the intro. The video also shows behind the scenes and add lyrics to the tracks by Ben featuring James D. Train Williams. The audio from the videos can be heard via the built-in speaker or using your own stereo headphones. The controls offer volume, fast forward, rewind, play and pause. There is also a USB port for charging. The laser cut insert fits the DCC like a glove. Jeremy and Ben worked on a new design for this DCC that replicates the double vinyl idea. The extra wrap around the DCC was based on the 2019 concept from Angela Lashley's DCC Museum release. There are a total of 11 audio tracks, including 6 brand new remixes. The Ben Brand Iconic Groove DCC is immediately available for the existing and new patrons of the DCC Museum that join our cause of keeping the DCC format alive. As we want to thank patrons for their support, we will include some extra goodies, like a small tote bag for the DCC and a signed inlay card by Ben Liebrand. Eventually, we will also make at least 25 copies available via eBay. The DCC Media Box can only be purchased as a Patreon. We want to thank Ben Liebrand for believing in this project and pushing us further to perfection. Sony Music for the flexibility, Jeremy Hayden for his limitless imagination and Jacques Houtsmit for enabling us to record this DCC on 48 kilohertz 24-bit. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.